Organizing for dummies. Something I clearly need to learn how to do better. Hello ladies and gents. I got this cool book that I got a long time ago and I've skimmed through it but I haven't actually completely read it through. And as a lot of y'all know, I am trying to get rid of books that are taking up space that I don't necessarily need and this is one of those books that I think that someone could probably use. So I'm going to go through this book and give a couple short notes on it and then if you would like to actually own this book, just let me know in the comments below and then you might be able to own it. Organization starts in your mind. So uh, maybe you need to acclimate yourself to becoming a little more organizationally inclined. You've got to split up tasks in your life to small amounts that you can work on gradually. So I would start by keeping the curly fries on the other side of your plate as regular french fries. Then maybe work your way up to sorting your dark and light underwear in different loads of laundry. Two, you need the right stuff, like boxes, crates, shelves, things like that. You got to make sure that everything has its place. This book is probably more helpful for me right now than it is for anybody else. This book has a ton of acronyms and important things that probably are very important and you can use, but I don't remember acronyms, so maybe you might remember acronyms. Three, you have to use your skills to get tasks going. The book also suggests having other people help you, so if you are like a ruler of a small country, or maybe you're just a dictator or a dick, you could have your friends come and do everything for you and you can pay them with cookies or brownies or you can bribe them with sex. That I don't think is in this book though. I don't remember reading a single thing about bribing your friends with sex. It also says something about four D's which could be fun right now or not. Not really sure that's my thing but maybe it's yours. So that's about it. And it's got this cool girl doing a thumbs up on the back. That's exciting, makes you feel accomplished. So if you want this book so you can organize all the crap in your life, you just gotta leave a comment below and if you want it, let me know that you want it and then maybe you might get this book. On a side note and correlating with number three which is utilizing your resources and making people do things for you, I downloaded this app today and it's called Tiny Death Star, I think, and I've already <laughs> become super addicted to it. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd and I, I started playing it and it's like that hotel game that was on Facebook a very long time ago where you would build the levels and then tenants would come in and then you could build other things attached to it. I was so addicted to that game for the longest time and then I found something else, I think like Restaurant City and then from there I moved on to Wizard of Oz and then I had, just haven't played Facebook games in a while. But this is basically that hotel game except it's on the Death Star and it's kind of awesome so I'm making all my minions do things. And I actually just got a message saying that Lord Vader, or that or the Emperor wants me to do something. What did, what did this dude want? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he turned around. He wants me to do something. Hey, listen. I just love this game. And I, I barely even played it. Um, and I'm also pretty sure that my french fries are burned now. So I'm going to see y'all later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Peace out. You think I'm us. They're safe. Subscribe and stuff. And maybe, uh, maybe uh, they can do something too. And eat up. And, and we'll keep Mari and the other old one for a while. A solo career for my father. Mari, she'll go away. Both away. Away? Away? You can't send my army away! Don't you send my army away? She's my army!